Dear 2050, I'm hopeful for the future of water because I know that what you have in store will be beyond my wildest imagination. Safe and sufficient water is always needed. What I know for sure is that I'll be doing all I can to tackle the most pressing water challenges so we can have a future where communities we serve are protected from climate change, emerging contaminants, aging infrastructure, environmental justice issues, and more. Having a front row seat to infrastructure being installed has been rewarding and brings renewed excitement to the future of our industry. I'm confident that you are employing cross-functional collaborative solutions for the challenges you face. Water is a critical human need essential to a healthy and prosperous life. I became acutely aware of this as a Peace Corps volunteer working in Central Africa, where water was valued but often scarce or of poor quality. Growing up in the 1950 and 1960 in Hong Kong, where and when water scarcity and quality problem persist, I truly value all forms of water because water is essential for human health and economic development. First Nations understand the importance of looking after the water in their practice of Natugulim. This encompasses stewardship of the natural world for future generations, taking only necessary resources and respecting all living and non-living things. I challenge you to continue this cycle of passing on knowledge to future generations. The challenges the water community will face on the way to 2050 will require us to embrace the art of the impossible and truly reimagine how water is managed on a global scale. And bold change makers in the water community are the ones who will make it happen. Manufacturers drive innovation and productivity and the recent global supply crisis confirmed the importance of collaboration between manufacturers and consumers. My dream for the future of One Water imagines the technological advancements that would allow for the effective and efficient, optimized operations of water systems that ensures water quality, public trust, and accounts for equity. The Water 2050 initiative was created to envision the future of water, our most vital resource. Through this collaborative effort, we hope AWWA's vision of a better world through better water will be your reality. I'm extremely pleased that water professional at AWWA's Water 2050 think tanks have identified a watershed base and preventive approach that should be used in the long-term planning and management of water. Waiting for the future to come to us was not a strategy. So instead, we brought together influential and diverse thinkers to intentionally create a framework for a sustainable, innovative, inclusive, well-governed, and economically sound water future. Through collaboration among partners and stakeholders, I'm glad we are making tremendous progress in safeguarding our invaluable water resources for future generations. I hope our AWWA peer network has grown to include every water professional in our industry and that each benefits from AWWA's tremendous, world-renowned knowledge base and best practices. A shared commitment of caring individuals has hopefully brought you to a better world through better water. I hope the bold actions contemplated by the American Waterworks Association as we assembled this time capsule positively impact everyone who opens a tap and drinks water today. Of critical importance is the role of our young professionals who will be leading the way into the year 2050. By then, we will have a world in which access to this precious resource has been realized. I really look forward to meeting you as a 60-year-old lady who will have seen the water industry transform into a globally recognized profession of heroes who saved civilization by protecting the world's most valuable resource. Be water, my friends. David LaFrance. With warm regards, Paula McElwain, Barb Martin, Anuj Kotari. With lots of love, GM, Chiho Sham, Joe Jack Angelo. This is Carl Yates coming to you from Millbrook First Nation. Sincerely, Cheryl Porter. With warmest regards, Patrick Kerr.